There in Nevada, there was a magnitude 4.3 earthquake that USGS revised to a 4.1 near Austin, Nevada. This earthquake occurred at 4.35 p.m. local time yesterday, June 29th. Seven people said they felt this earthquake. And I do have drawn out um, two ancient calderas. It's called the Hall Creek Calderas. This earthquake was relatively shallow, about 2.9 miles in depth. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. I'm glad you're here. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday afternoon. Please like, share, and subscribe. This earthquake was along the Toya Yabi, Toya Yabi range. It's a fairly long fault zone about 81 and a half miles in length or 131 kilometers in length this fault zone here is a extensional spreading fault meaning that um, it is slowly growing um, and extending and getting wider here on the moment tensor ball you can see the first wave of the earthquake kind of uh, north east a little bit the fault moved dipping going towards the southwest tension was applied going northwest um, this fault is actually a dipping fault that's supposed to be going towards the northwest so it's interesting that it fractured going in the opposite direction surprisingly how far some of the felt reports that came in um, here we got Carson City um, close to the epicenter we got Austin but we also got over here by um, Salt Lake they felt it there too yeah I'd like to know what um, did the motion feel like was it a vibration was it a rolling motion this is a real remote location and then there was another one I think I have it marked here. Let me find it. It was a magnitude 3.5, I think. Yeah, okay. It was on the opposite side of this fault zone. I'm going to show you something else, too. This is the uh, USGS quarterly map. And this here in the center, in green, is that fault zone. And then we got a little bit. Let me close this out. We got another fault zone a little bit farther um, to the east. But what's interesting is this is an extensional. The tectonic plates slowly moving, separating. And we've noticed that lately, or at least I've noticed that lately, with the reactivation of ancient failed rift zones. I reported one yesterday um, in upstate New York that occurred. And we've been seeing that happen along the New Madrid fault zone, um, along the Great Lakes. Yeah, many of these ancient faults have been reactivated. Yeah, you might recognize this here. That That's that little farm over there, the, some agriculture they got in that location. I actually think it's probably a longer fault zone. Um, than um, 81 and a half miles um, not a lot of research has been done they do know you can see down here how it joins up with other fault zones I don't know if that's gonna this is still the um, same part of that fault zone and this is the salt southwest um, Rees River Valley fault but they're probably all connected no one said they felt the 3.5. It was a little bit deeper in depth, 7.5 kilometers, or about 4.7 miles. Yeah, the 4.3 that was revised to a 4.1, that was 
half as deep and then I want to show you the different volcanic calderas that they have here I'll make well let me bring this down gives you the supposed ages um, let's see the green would be the most recent I guess I'm gonna make that larger okay I'll have to pull it over and we'll go up see they got a very small section of this fault zone drawn out but it actually extends all the way up and I'll make it bigger yet yeah there's a lot of ancient volcanism in this area yeah look at that here we got the largest ones looks like uh, still water um, yeah clan alpine caldera complex well I guess they do have it oops I'm sorry hold on Tenapa or Tumpa it goes all the way down here that they got it drawn out for this fault zone and yeah the uh, green ones are down over here you can see it's not too far let me bring this over I'm going towards the Las Vegas area the uh, volcanic eruptions that occurred were anastite, which is a thick lava, um, yeah, slow-moving thick lava. There was actually um, uh, tufts of ash, kind of like what they have there at Yellowstone. Um, yeah, and they also got scarps in this area where one side rises up, the other side either stays stationary or drops down. Yeah, real interesting. And we've been seeing a lot of earthquakes in locations such as these lately. And they seem to be increasing. Yeah, ancient fault zones that are being reactivated. Let's see, we got, um, let's see, a 5.1 July 19th of last year. Yeah. I wonder if they did any investigations into that yeah and what's going on here yeah and then we got a 4.4 I don't have a date on that yeah but you can see here we got some agriculture going on yeah the lonely farmer <laughs> they must have been one of the people that reported the earthquake yeah yeah so what are your thoughts about these recent earthquakes in locations of um, ancient faults and rift zones and calderas and yeah this was a, a originally a strato um, a cone-shaped volcano yeah put your thoughts down below thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe and i'll talk to you later god bless you